summer climb in Hong Kong is hot and humid, and very often construction workers they will have to work under outdoor conditions. They probably will get um, all the soot wet to the skin. So we believe that there must be something that we can design uh, so that on one hand uh, it will protect them from uh, getting skin cancer or get hurt by the UV and on the other hand the uniform uh, will not be get wet so easily so that's primarily um, the inspiration why we like to carry out research of that nature we have a group of experts who are specialized in construction technology and construction health. However, the subject matter for this research really is to try to develop a uniform which can protect workers from extreme heat and high humidity. So, we also need input from textile technology. We have invented a new generation of fabrics which we call moisture management textiles. How can we control the liquid water or sweat transfer through textile structures? We can um, utilize the fabric to reduce the heat stress. It's a multi-scale integrated functional design from nanoscale to meter scales. So the research is really from fundamental science into application technology to final product innovation. The most important issue is the uh, heat transfer and the moisture transfer. Moisture management, when we transport of sweat, is the, is the critical um, factor we consider. The newly designed uniform is made up of two parts, t-shirts and trousers. For the t-shirts, we use Pumax and Nash Mesh fabric. The fabrics employ specially engineered polyester fibers to improve breathability compared to natural fibers like cotton. It can draw moisture away from the skin through capillary action and increase the evaporation over a wider surface area. For the trousers, we use dry inside fabric. We apply moisture management technology by nanomaterials and allow moisture to be transferred away from the skin to the surface of the garment. It has higher one-way transferability and liquid moisture management capacity. Um, my background is from sport science. And my major contribution in this project is to identify those uh, scientifically different methods in sport and we transfer this technology to the uniform for construction workers. The human heat loss can be in four ways conduction, convection, radiation, and evaporation. And during the summer in Hong Kong, it's very hot, and the high humidity will severely inhibit the sweat evaporation. And that's why workers will be quite difficult to uh, dissipate the heat while this evaporation. And the major function or the major requirement of this newly designed uniform is to promote or facilitate the sweat evaporation. And consequently, the worker will feel more comfortable by removing the body heat. To test out the validity of the uniform, we use three different tests. Firstly, is to test out the properties of the selected fabrics. We have selected over 30 different types of fabrics and find out the most suitable one. And the second one is to test out the property inside a kinetic chamber. At some controlled parameter, the wearer can actually demonstrate they can achieve lower core temperature, reduce the heart weight, and better physiological strain index. And the last test that we have undertaken is field study. We actually produced 100 sets of this uniform and provide it to workers to try on. The workers would put on this newly designed uniform in the morning and the un uniform in the afternoon. And at the end, they have to point out to us which one they prefer. We are not purely doing research that can enable us to produce some research papers. As a research team, we hope to make contribution to help improve the well-being of the workers 
as well as to the industry.